Okay, because I have started on a multiplayer series, I figured it would be a good idea to go ahead and take it a different route. Because as usual, with the way I make tutorials, is I make a pick a feature to make and sh kind of show you how to make it. And in this case, it seems like it would be more fitting to actually make a full-on functional game. So that way, you get a just a general good understanding of well working with multiplayer and dedicated servers as well as you can easily host this on your own computer which I have a video on that will be linked in the description now this is going to be a survival game since that seems to be kind of just a good overall view of how to do a lot of miscellaneous things such as hunger, thirst, stamina and health since you're going to be being attacked by other players now in order to create this and get the project started you're going to go over here and press launch to whatever Unreal version you have downloaded and installed. I am on 4.22.3, and if you're on a previous version, I recommend you upgrade to at least 4.22 something, or a f later version if you're watching this in the future. Now once you press launch, you will be met with the screen here. We're going to go to New Project, E++, Third Person, and I called my project Survival. As you can see, I've already made it because, well, I've already made a couple video on using this project as well. I'm just re recording the intro. Now, what you will be seeing in these tutorials, it, they're, they're going to be relatively long, but they're going to be just kind of, they're not going to be pre-planned or anything like that. So any issues that I come across, I will, I'm not going to stop recording, fix it, and then come back. I'm going to kind of show you the process that I take to figure out okay where's the bug coming from and how do I fix it so you're gonna be following along with that process as well and I can already tell you we have one currently with the hunger and thirst and we did a little minor fix to it but not a complete fix as we will be revisiting it a little bit later on to truly fix it So, once you have your project set up like here press create project and I already have the other part recorded for you so I'll see you then Alrighty, I am back. The project has finished building. The Visual Studio project is still being set up, as you can see. But since there's not going to be any coding done in this specific video, we're just getting this finished, uh, setting up this project here. So one thing that I like to do, uh, it's really just disable plugins that I'm not going to use. So if we go over here to Settings, Plugins, you will come up here to make sure you're just like the force has built in up here so we have everything that we can search through and type in VR just going to disable Steam and Oculus support iOS and Android and just uncheck them all this iOS and Android parts really aren't necessary but I've just kind of gotten into a habit of doing it for I really don't even know why but so you can either choose to do that or not. Just once you disable the VR, just go ahead and restart now. I do that personally because Steam VR continually will just each time I load the project, Steam VR loads for me. And it's just kind of annoying. So you can really just choose to do it whether or not you want to. It's up to you. Alrighty. So I'll just go ahead and save. Make sure everything's good to go. And I will see you for the next part where we actually start writing something up.